this downward trend will continue. And it looks like it's not going to. 182.8. Body fats to 14.2%. Water gone down. And muscle at 43.2. So after three weeks, it looks like the numbers are starting to trend in the opposite direction now. Body weight has gone up by 1.8 pounds to 182.8. In addition to body fat, which has gone up half a percent to 14.2. Hydration has gone down to 59.6. So not drinking as much water uh, as I had for the first couple of weeks. And a very, very small dip in muscle percentage which drops to 43.2%. Now there is still one week left of this experiment, so it will be interesting to see whether or not these numbers are legitimate or if I just had a bad day on the scale. Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, day 24 of the USANA Health Pack experiment. I uh, wanted to give you guys a quick little update on the expensive pee argument. It turns out that the reason why my pee has turned green is because my body is excreting excess riboflavin. Riboflavin, or also known as vitamin B2, can be found in most foods like milk, eggs, lean meats, vegetables, the list goes on. This vitamin helps metabolize proteins in the body. It also plays an antioxidant role in fighting off cell damage. But although I'm excreting this excess riboflavin, that does not mean my body is not absorbing other nutrients. So mystery solved on the colored pea front. Hey guys, day 29 of the USANA Health Pack experiment, and I am on my way to the gym do the final strength test. Let's see how it goes. I know I should be using the same weights I used for the first uh, couple strength tests, but I like colors, so we're using these today. So yeah, that was a, a bit of an unexpected surprise. Um, was able to do 10 reps, uh, both the front squat and the bench press. And to be brutally honest with you guys, I think I might have been able to do one more of each. Maybe it's the colorful weights that sparked me. Maybe it's because I had an extra set of eyes on me that made me lift a little uh, heavier. Whether or not that's attributed to the health pack, it could be. Um, what specifically in the health pack caused me to want to push a little harder and lift a little more? I don't know. In any case, uh, gains are gains and uh, that is uh, a substantial improvement in my books. So, yeah, quite happy with that. It's time, ladies and gentlemen, day 30 of the USANA health pack experiment, which means it's time for my final weigh-in. There have been some ups, and downs throughout these past 30 days, but hopefully stepping on that scale for the last time is going to prove to be a good one. Let's see what the result is this time. One eighty-two, where I started. 
14% body fat where I started. A little less on the water, 43.5% muscle, 6.4 pounds of bone. So the numbers did trend back in the direction we wanted them to. Body weight dropped almost a full pound, finishing at 182 pounds. Body fat percentage also dropped to 14%. Hydration stayed roughly the same, bumping up to 59.7. And muscle percentage increased a little bit more to finish at 43.5%. Let's compare the results from day one and day 30. In terms of body weight, there was no change. I stayed the same at 182 pounds flat. Body fat dropped slightly uh, down from 14.2% to 14%. And uh, in a bit of a surprise, muscle percentage went up over a full percent. That is an increase of almost two pounds of muscle in just one month. So now that the results are out, what do I think about the USANA Health Pack? As you guys just witnessed, there was no change in my body weight and very, very, very small changes in my body fat percentage over the 30 days. Most peer-reviewed research studies looking at body fat percentage typically last for three months and in some cases up to a whole year. If I continued taking the health pack for three months, perhaps I would have seen some more drastic changes in both body weight and body fat percentage. And this is something that I might try again for a future experiment down the road. I am quite surprised to see such an increase in muscle percentage and strength after 30 days. Considering I did not change my regular strength training routine or nutrition, you can't help but wonder if this was in a way influenced by the health pack. I predict that this may have something to do with the increase in energy that I felt after taking the supplement. One of the nutrients I know for a fact I was getting more of, especially considering the color of my pee, was riboflavin, aka vitamin B. It has been shown that vitamin B supplementation will increase mitochondrial energy metabolism at the cellular level. I'm not saying this is the only cause for my increase in strength and energy, but if you guys could think of any other reasons that I might have missed, I would love to hear so in the comments below. So to conclude this experiment, do I recommend taking the USANA Health Pack? And the answer to that question is, it depends. If you struggle with eating the right foods and you want to ensure that your body is getting the right nutrients for optimal performance, then the health pack is certainly an option. But I also strongly believe that you can fuel your body with the right amount of nutrients from food. All you have to do is maintain a healthy, balanced diet. But in this day and age, it could be easier said than done. It really does come down to convenience and whether or not you think that spending $5 a day is worth it to you. Despite my strength gains and energy level increases, I still don't think it's worth it. But hey, everybody's different. So if you're curious, I encourage you to try it out for yourself and feel free to let me know how it worked for you in the comments below. If you guys enjoyed this 30 day experiment, be sure to like it, share it with your friends and subscribe. In any case, thank you all so much for watching and stay strong.